Good morning and welcome to the Thursday edition of Buyers and Company. We're live at the Community Leaders Breakfast at the Decatur Conference Center Hotel. Details coming up next. Buyers and Company on News Talk 1340 WSOY. We need everyone, so that's the message. All right, it's a crowded uh, field, I, I, a political field. I, I don't know if you've noticed, there are a lot of people running for office, uh, and uh, there are a lot of selections and choices out there. Some argue that that's a good thing. Some argue that that's a bad thing. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. But for state treasurer, uh, Bob Grogan joins us, twice elected as auditor of DuPage County, the second largest county in Illinois with a population of almost 1 million people. He's been an innovator and advocate of transparency and government accountability, and within weeks of taking office, he made DuPage the first county in the state of Illinois to put its checkbook online. Um, that's probably a good thing. Why you? Why now? Uh, you know, Is it a good thing to have all these choices? Well, whether to have choices or not, I'll, I'll leave that up to the people. Uh, the Democrats seem to think it's better to not have choices. They clear their field out. But uh, it's competition's a good thing. That's what America's founded on. So I look forward to a, a vibrant campaign. All right. When did you decide to do this? You know, actually, the day after the November election, people actually started to call me. Uh, somebody said, hey, you should be thinking about running statewide. And I literally said, statewide for what? Uh, I guess they had more insight into what Dan Rutherford was going to be doing than I did at the yeah, time. They knew, right? Dan was lining himself up <laughs> right. to be running for governor. Right. So, uh, Treasurer, it's an interesting office, right? I, I, I don't think if you stopped 10 people at the right. in downtown Decatur and said, okay, quick, tell me, what's the comptroller do, what's the treasurer do, right. you know, that most people would be able to tell you that, right? Actually, it, it, and being down ticket, it's uh, you, you kind of know that you've got two minutes on the podium and you got to get off because uh, people are more concerned about governor and right. other things, justifiably. So why treasurer, why you? I mean, why this specific sure. office? Well, um, when I started looking at it and started talking to people, um, the reason people, I guess, approached me in the first place is uh, – that they're looking for somebody who's actually a financial professional to, to step up. Um, since I've been looking at the office, I've had nothing but attorneys have been looking to run for this. Uh, people ask me, why am I running? I say, well, if qualified people don't run, lawyers do. You're a CPA, <laughs> right? Yes. And, and, and you're exactly right. I mean, all you have to do is look at Washington, D.C. Right. and see the – I mean, well, if you compare the number of lawyers that are in Congress or, or in the State House in Springfield right. versus the population and how they shake out everywhere else, right. you're right. They're way overrepresented. Uh, a CPA, that makes sense to me. Right. If I get elected, I'll be the first CPA in the history of Illinois. To be the treasurer? Yes. <laughs> Why would that surprise me in Illinois? I I, I'll tell that to a crowd, and, and it's interesting. They'll go through two emotions. First emotion is they kind of go, nah, that can't be the case. And then they go, well, it's Illinois. Yeah. I guess <laughs> so that, that makes, makes sense, sense right? right? Exactly. Uh, instead of somebody's nephew who would right. get an actual CPA. Right. All right. What, what about the job? Uh, you, you know, I, explain to the folks. Give them the ABCs right. as you understand sure. what the treasurer's responsibilities are and what you'd like to see done with that office. Sure. What the treasurer does is, is in, in essence, they're responsible for holding the money. Um, they're responsible for investing it, making sure you have a better return on the money. Um, so that they are the, the, the state's banker, as it were. Um, and, and, and a lot of that is investing it to making sure that you get a, a decent return without having, you know, things collapse around you and losing losing the, the hard-earned taxpayer dollars that, that have come in. Um, as far as what I'd like to see different, um, one of the things is, is uh, I'd like to see they, they have actually programs where they uh, put money out through local banks so they can invest in, in farm loans and small business loans, things like that. I think we need to emphasize that more. There's actually a greater return for the, the taxpayers if we do that um, and, and very little risk. So I, I'd like to emphasize that more. All right. You believe in community service. You, you've already touched me because you were president of the United Way uh, up in DuPage County. I'm the uh, current chairman of this year's campaign here in Macon County. Uh, you did some interesting stuff up there with the United Way. Yeah, it's interesting. I, you know, As a CPA, you come in, and the first thing they do on a board is they make you treasurer. Yes. Um, so I came into a small uh, United CPA, Way. CPA, by the way, bankers get that uh, right. option all the right. time, too. Right. Right. Um, I won't even get into the fact that I'm a certified fraud examiner, but mm-hmm. that's, that's for later. But uh, relative to – so I, got, I came onto this small United Way board, uh, and within two months we started some merger discussions with some of the surrounding United Ways. Right. And after two meetings, they made me president of the new rump, the new organization. We merged six of the United Ways together, wow. saved a million dollars in overhead. Um, and the smartest thing I did was I put in term limits in the bylaws so that I, I did my two-year stint and was able to roll off. And, wow, uh, I like that. I think we, <laughs> we, we might uh, learn from that one. That, that's interesting, though, because, you know, I've – we're big supporters of, of the community and, and charity and the organizations. that do, I, I think they do it better than government does. I mean, I, I think instead of relying on Springfield or Washington, D.C., we ought to rely on our fellow you know, men and women because they, they step up and they do it and they do it right. But the idea of, of uh, 
consolidating, you know, this overhead and stuff is, is very intriguing to me, right? It, it's it's a way to – but government doesn't take that approach to anything. No. We have we, up we in, create new departments. We right. don't consolidate. Uh, up in DuPage County, uh, there's been some initiatives. We're trying – you know, because Illinois has got more levels of government than any other state in the nation by a – you know, a tune of like forty percent more than the next one. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, look how many school districts we have. I, I mean, it's crazy oh, in, if you compare it to like Indiana or Missouri. Mosquito abatement. Is, uh, yeah. We have something like seven thousand governmental entities. The next highest state is like four thousand. Does, does that include road districts too? It, separate governmental entities. Yes. yes. So be like road districts and such. Township, but, everything. Yeah. But we've had entities up in up where I live where they actually the board wants to get rid of them. Everybody else wants to get rid of them. It still takes two years. Yeah. They want to dissolve and they can't go away. That there's that kind of inertia. All right, now you're running against a guy who's I I, I don't know how much clout Tom has, but I mean he was you know leading up the Republican Party, the House mm-hmm. uh, Minority Leader for for a number of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, some would argue to you know how much effectiveness I don't know they right. couldn't get people elected. Um, do you feel sort of like you're running against the uh, you know uh, I, I know how this works in the state. <laughs> I mean he's he's got a lot of favors to call in, right? Right. And, you know it's it's interesting because uh, I know that that this office wasn't Tom's first choice. Uh, he, yeah, it was, was almost like he. You know, okay, well, I'll, I'll okay, yeah, treasurer. I, I mean, right? That's <laughs> right. the feel I got. Right. Um, and, you know, and, and his name ID and such is a double-edged sword because uh, there's a, when you've tried to have been baking food, you have to break a lot of eggs, I suppose. Um, but I, you know, I've been going around and, and when I get up and I say I'm actually the guy that's qualified to be treasurer, it's actually quite reassuring that people don't say, good luck. They say, how can I help you? So yeah. Do you have aspirations to be like governor someday? Mm-hmm. No. And that's, that's the interesting thing is, is if you look back, since I've been born, I was born in 68. There's been uh, eight treasurers. Six of them are Democrats, okay? Five of those were attorneys, and one was a trucker. Nothing against truckers, but he went to jail. Yeah. And I guess it tells you about attorneys. They know how to stay out of jail. Right. But, I mean, you had uh, our current governor was a treasurer. Uh, you had um, Alan Dixon was a treasurer for us. Uh, you had Adley Stevenson. I mean, so people do use this to go on to something else. I get up in front of groups, and I just promise... I'm going to be a good treasurer. And they laugh because you don't hear that. People promise you some shiny thing over their right shoulder, right? And, and I'm actually like, I'm good for this job. That's all my resume is saying. I'm qualified. I'm a certified fraud examiner and I'm a CPA and I want to be a good treasurer. Well, a certified fraud examiner would be uh, enlightening here in the state of Illinois. Wouldn't it have somebody like that Dizzy. on the payroll? <laughs> yeah, they, you're going to be the most hated man in Springfield if I you hope get elected. So. Did they I know so. you had that qualification when they asked you <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, it, it, it's a, we've got a long way to the primary, and it's, it's good to get a chance to meet you, and, and we welcome you back anytime you'd like. And uh, it's, I, I, I personally think it's good to have choices. I, I think people deserve that. Too often, um, and, and I know an argument can be made the other way, but I, I think too often people in a back room somewhere decide, no, this is what's best for the party, not necessarily this is what's best for the people. And so I think giving people an opportunity to choose sure. is always a good thing. Well, I've been to over 40 counties in the last six months. I've put 25,000 miles on my car. And it's just me going out and just talking to people. I mean, if we don't do it at church picnics and stuff, it's it's not just it shouldn't be about one more mailing, one more cable. Are you box. glad you decided to do it now that you see what it's at, at two o'clock in the morning when I wake up, going, "How the blazes am I going to get across the finish line?" Uh, no, but but for the most part, yeah. Um, I mean, I know why normal people don't run for office. It is a grueling job interview with three million people. Yeah, it's tough. It really is. Well, listen, Bob, it's uh, very nice to meet you, and uh, we'll be talking to you again soon, okay? Thank you. Bob Grogan wants to be treasurer here in uh, the state of Illinois. We're going to take a quick break. Back with more.